We continue our campaign 2016 coverage now with the latest on the presidential race. Donald Trump shared some information on his health today while Clinton continues recovering from pneumonia. Meanwhile, hacked emails from Colin Powell show the former Secretary of State has harsh criticisms for both candidates. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan picks up our coverage live in studio. Today, Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump taped an episode of the Dr. Oz show, which will air tomorrow. A campaign spokeswoman confirmed Trump handed Dr. Oz a one-page summary of the physical exam he underwent last week. Trump also talked with Oz about his physical activity, dietary habits, and broader health-related issues. You can watch the episode tomorrow at 3 p.m. on our sister station, Fox Providence. Meanwhile, Trump is facing more questions about his charitable foundation. New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman, who was a Clinton supporter, says he's investigating the foundation to see if it violated New York laws. Several House Democrats have also called on the U.S. Attorney General to investigate the foundation. And CBS News is reporting leaked emails from Colin Powell show he has problems with both candidates. CBS News is reporting in the emails posted on DCLeaks.com. Powell, a Republican, calls Trump in one email a national disgrace and an international pariah. As for Clinton, the emails reportedly show Powell blasted her for trying to rope him into her email controversy, saying that Clinton, quote, could have killed this two years ago by merely telling everyone honestly what she had done and not tie me into it. She keeps tip tipping into these character field minds, minefields rather. Another email between Powell and a well-known Democratic donor suggests Rhode Island Senator Sheldon Whitehouse seemed to raise questions about Clinton's energy level last year. We reached out to White House and a spokesperson said the senator didn't recall those comments. Now, Bill and Chelsea Clinton, along with her running mate Tim Kaine, continued campaigning today while Clinton spent one more day recovering from pneumonia. She's expected to return to the campaign trail tomorrow. I'm Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.